Good morning, everybody. 8.33 in Tasmania, Australia. I have been up for about an hour and just catching up on my YouTube feed, um, having a a bit of a look at what other subscribers have posted. And that brought me over to our brother's channel, Revelation Watchman 777, where he is... uh, playing about with some numbers, some different start dates, etc. And I find it an interesting video. I recommend you go and have a look. But looking at some of the day counts in the uh, video I've just mentioned, uh, it reminded me how I'd done some math in the past on um, the numbers uh, 1290 and 1335, those two day counts found in the Bible. And we know the difference between those is 45 days. So, as we are watching the 24th of February, I don't know why, it just popped into my head. When's 45 days from the 24th of February? Well, look at that. It's the day or the day after the eclipse. I find that very interesting if we are looking at the 24th of February that those 45 days bring us to there. Now remember we don't know a time on the 24th of February, sunset would be my guess for a big event. Um, And we don't know exactly where this, this 45 days, I guess it would take us to sunset on April the 9th, yes. 45 days exactly later if we use sunset. It would be April the 9th, ending April the 8th, the day of the eclipse. Wow. I just find that very, very interesting, guys. Uh, I'd like your comments on that. So 45 days from our high watch day, February the 24th, will bring us to the completion of the day of the eclipse, which is April the 8th, so that'll bring us to that day will have fully passed. It's a very interesting alignment there. What do you guys think? God bless. That was just a quick one to start the day.